click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have talked about the water and its physical properties and now we are going to talk about the structure of water. So what are the different parameters that we could see in the structure of water and how basically the water combines with the other molecules so as to form in a liquid state. Let me talk about that. So talking about the structure of water, so H2 basically known as water, in this case basically oxygen is the central atom. So that's the reason that uh, it has been found that the oxygen which is uh, bonded with the two hydrogens over here consists of basically two lone pair of electrons. And meanwhile uh, through hybridization it has been found that uh, the oxygen is exhibiting sp3 hybridized structure. And because of which basically the structure that should be of H2 it should not be planar it should be basically tetrahedral because sp3 hybridization uh, molecules uh, are basically tetrahedral in nature and uh, that is basically pyramidal but uh, the irregular sp3 hybrid uh, structure uh, should be exhibiting the bond angle of 109 degree 28 minutes but it has been found for uh, water it has been found that the bond angle between that is HOH is been found to be that is 104 degree 35 minutes so this decrease uh, in the bond angle is because of the presence of this lone pair of electrons so this lone pair of electrons have a repulsion towards uh, that is uh, the bonding pairs that is between hydrogen and oxygen and that's the reason that the bond angle it decreases from 109 to 104 degree 35 minutes so this is how but the structure overall structure it remains the same that is it is tetragonal in shape or tetrahedral if you talk about and uh, talking about the next one that is uh, what are the bond parameters if you would observe so in the bond parameters the other one is basically the bond length so the bond length and uh, that is uh, between uh, obviously that is between oxygen and hydrogen it has been found to be that is uh, 95.7 picometer so these are certain things that I'm uh, mentioning about. So this is certain uh, bond parameters that I have discussed uh, uh, for the structure of water. Water is uh, the one which is basically present in a liquid state at normal temperature or in atmospheric pressure that is uh, where we are living in. But it can also be present in the form of solid state as well as in the form of uh, uh, that is gas. So the gaseous thing is basically known as water vapor. But for uh, combining uh, the different molecules of H2 whenever they are uh, at low temperature they could form ice but this combination or this kind of uh, a bond between the H2 molecule with that of the other H2 molecule is because of the uh, hydrogen bonding so whenever a water is in liquid state the hydrogen bonding is very much uh, effective and that's the reason that uh, a liquid have more interaction uh, with the uh, or the molecules which are basically in liquid state have more interaction with each other but in case of solid it is not that so so what makes them different and how basically the hydrogen bonding takes place uh, in uh, uh, that is in solid form or basically known as ice that is what I want to talk about. So as I have mentioned earlier that is uh, the uh, water molecules uh, is the one that is exhibiting uh, that is sp3 hybridized structure and basically that is a tetrahedral structure and uh, in which basically oxygen undergoes sp3 hybridization. So that's the reason that uh, most of the water molecules they are having a bond angle which is basically 104 degree 35 minutes and but during the formation of ice basically they form a hydrogen bonding and also in the basically in liquid state also they form hydrogen bonding but it has been observed that uh, the density of the ice is very much less than compared to that of uh, the liquid water so it has been found that uh, suppose if i am measuring over here that is two molecules of uh, water over here and suppose if i have added another one So in this case basically the hydrogen bonding is between the hydrogen and the oxygen over here and this kind of network it will go on and that is how basically the lattice of uh, the water uh, whenever they form a crystal actually in that case it expands and because of uh, it expands obviously the volume increases and because if the volume increases we could say that the density decreases and that's the reason that uh, uh, the ice it floats on the liquid water. So there are also certain kind of uh, the uh, 
uh, structure of ice and there are different kind of properties uh, that is what i want to talk in the next lecture so for now this is the thing that i want to talk about the structure of water and how basically they are forming the hydrogen bonding because of that is the electronegativity difference between them and this kind of uh, attraction that we could observe between the two molecules so that's it thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know about the structure of water so till then, I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to e channel. Thank you so much.